Okay guys, so it's been a hot minute since we last did a movie review um, and we've got a special one for you guys today. Uh, we are, we as a me and Rusty, here's Rusty, Hola. and um, we are on our way, well we're actually on a two hour journey. We're not actually moving yet, we're actually moving very soon. Tell them or watch it. That's cool, I like this. That's, anyway, yeah. yeah, we are going to, uh, to an IMAX screening of Oppenheimer. Yeah, so, so um, hopefully it's good. I'm hoping yeah, it's so good. are you familiar with Christopher Nolan and his films? Um, I've watched the Dark Knight ones. <laughs> yeah. And, um, those, those are pretty good. I, I enjoyed those. I think the first one's my favourite. <laughs> I've seen like the interviews that yeah. have been sent. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping it's good. It's yeah. Not much to say really for me. So I was the same before knowing about Oppenheimer. But um, I decided to try and check out a few of his films before coming to watch this, because just to get a feel of his his filmmaking style. If, if you guys know what I mean, it's just um, I've only managed to watch two of them all the way through, and they were Following, which was his first film, shot in black and white actually, oh, yeah. um, and uh, Inception. Oh yes, uh, it's actually pretty damn good. I think you'll really like it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a few of the Blu-rays. So yeah, I watched Following and Inception. Other than that. The Dark Knight trilogy, of course. Uh, I want to watch all the other films, but uh, obviously I haven't had enough time to watch them all. But um, yeah, and I'm very excited because it's IMAX, and I can't wait yeah. to experience it. Yeah, because the um, the picture that you showed me was like the the screen is huge. It'd be bigger than that, wouldn't it? Like most of them. Well, nice. No, yeah, yeah. It'd be decently big. It's yeah. still really huge yeah. to, compared to like the one I've seen. In my cinemas, you know, the local yeah. ones, yeah, or even the Ford DX one, which I'm still. Oh, that's what we need to talk about, right? All right, so we have been here, we have been to the cinema we're going to two times prior to this. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, I did mention we went to Ford DX, but I didn't see, I didn't want to say too much because I wanted to see you yeah. to be here as well. Yeah. Um. So tell them what we watched first. The first one, oh, I, it was great. Uh, it was Jurassic World Dominion in Ford DX, and honestly. The best cinema experience I've ever had, I think. Yeah. I think it. I wouldn't argue with that. I think it's unequal with watching No Way Home, like for the first time, yeah. with all like the audience and stuff. Yeah. But if we're just talking just like the film experience as well, Jurassic World Dominion, I yeah. think. Because the way the 4DX works, you know. Yeah, and speaking of No Way Home, the second time we went to watch The it. second time we watched No Way Home. However, it wasn't personally as good as. Jurassic World. Yeah, of course not, but that's because we were expect we were, we knew what we were expecting from that film because yeah. we watched it originally in our local cinema. Yeah. Um But even then with the 4DX like the 4DX add-ons, they still weren't as good just yeah. because Yeah, we were hoping that the swinging would be good, but things they don't fly the chair. Yeah. That would have been so good if Yeah, we could just yeah, fly in the chair. There springs in the chair and we could like that. Oh, that bounce so you up, cool. yeah. But yeah. no, it, it is alright obviously for 4DX and Yeah. But it's as well as yeah, of course we are experiencing IMAX for the first time, which I'm very excited. And assuming you are too, I am optimistic. I'm not, yeah, I'm. I'm not. Obviously, it's not going to be as immersive. Well, but it could be. But it's. I mean, with, <laughs> with the with the motion stuff, obviously. Yeah, it's yeah, different. yeah. But um, the big screen. Apparently, it's it's literally your field of view basically it's basically it's like completely when, filled because obviously with the regular one especially if you're further away in the cinema it's just there yeah. whereas because if especially if you're a decent view you're actually um yeah you're basically yeah you're basically immersed like your whole peripheral vision's in with the screen so it's not I'm just like i'm hoping the, the seats we've got yeah, I'm hoping the seats we got are, are decent. Yeah, because obviously because we've not been in the IMAX, so yeah. we tried to pick middle seats. Yeah, um, and obviously the ones that I would have picked up were taken. Yeah, so we're um, on like the kind of edges, I've, not I've seen the far edges. Yeah, I've seen, like yeah, I saw um, I saw a couple of um, <laughs> I saw um, a couple of memes of um, of, like, <laughs> I that, that, uh, like, with Willem Dafoe at the front, like, like <laughs> with, and, the, and someone put like a picture of like a diagram of. The cinema screen and someone in the front and then you've seen like the perspective in there. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And I've got to show you when we're yeah. on the journey, but yeah, we're still not moving, which is fine. Uh is it even quarter past yet? Uh for two minutes. Two minutes, okay, two yeah. minutes until we're off. Yeah, uh I don't have anything else to say. Do you have anything else to do? Um I hope we it's good. Watch it, yeah. We might do some more 
when we're at our destination yeah before we go in maybe i'm not sure if not then we'll see you uh so you yeah on. we will see you on the way out okay okay we have arrived at our destination so yeah that's the that's the train and uh, it's probably about to leave and uh, we are gonna put our tickets in the thing and Hopefully head works. straight to the cinema. Yeah. So yeah, off we go. There it is. There it is. Cineworld, <gasps> IMAX and 4DX. Welcome to Cineworld. Here it is. Right, let's, let's go There's down. IMAX. IMAX is down there. Okay, this is it. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh. Right, let's try and find that Look at that. But bro, what do you think? It's our mate, it's colossal, man. It is huge. I didn't expect it to be this big. Literally, yeah. as we were walking up, it just kept getting bigger. I was posting like pictures and it didn't seem that, that it looked big, big but, but not like this. Yeah, so this it's, is, it's literally floor to ceiling. This is massive. Yeah, look. I'll show you again. Wow. But, um, yeah, we're going to shut it off now. Yeah. And uh, we're going to experience it and let you know our thoughts. Yeah, hopefully, I've, I've, I'm already amazed at this, so yeah, hopefully the film same. is just as good. Yeah. See you then. Bye bye. We haven't even spoken no, since we, haven't. we were kind of rushing. So. Yeah. Yeah, Can we ask you? You go first. It wasn't for me. What open moment? The film. There, were, there were moments yeah. that I liked. Most of it lost me. It's supposed to be obviously the the story of open the man, yeah. the father of the atomic bomb. Yeah. Which I got most of it, but there was a point where it's just now it is just politics. You know, mm. Which was the the final end part? Oh yeah, spoilers. By the way. I mean the. I mean, how does that spoilers for often happen? It's history. We're already, it's yeah. already happened. So no yeah. spoilers. Um. So. It's kind of. It's annoying. So I was looking forward to this. I was as well. There's a. It was just. It, it went on for a bit too long. Yeah. I think we agreed that there was a certain bit in the film where it should have stopped. We won't say where. I know that. Yeah. He said something, but I don't want to in case people. Yeah. The um. I won't say it in like a spoilery way, but there's a point where obviously the bomb goes off. We all know the bomb goes off because yeah. what happened. And then there's a quote that's said by Oppenheimer. It's, yeah. You should probably know it, but um, then it fades to black. I think that was when it should. Yeah. The credit should have stopped. Yeah, on. that's when the credit should have stopped. But no, it went on further to other things, yeah. which obviously I won't say just in case of spoilers. But yeah. Right. What I'll say is. It's not a bad film. Oh no, it's not bad. If you you know if you want to know more about your history, go watch it. It's yeah. perfect for that. Yeah, it's a beautifully made film. Oh, definitely. Like the cinematography yeah. and all that. I will say the actors very... did a brilliant job. There's more people than I knew. Yeah, like, there, there's actually there. more. Yeah, exactly. Than there I was, thought there was. There was um, Gary Oldman. Do you know Gary Oldman? If I saw his face. Oh, he was yeah. playing. He was. He played um, Gordon in the Dark Knight Oh yeah, yeah. There was um. There was he's, character... he's he's in other roles, but I don't think he made it well. But. He's great. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Most Christopher Nolan films, I haven't actually mentioned this to you guys. This is a security message. That this train <laughs> needs to <laughs> be put down. Speak um, to staff yeah. or text the British Transport Police yeah. on yeah. 61016. We'll sort it. See it. So Christopher Nolan films, from what, from my experience, 
I think these are the type of films, the more I watch them and the more knowledge I know, the more I'll enjoy it. If that makes sense. Yeah, like if you knew more about this guy. Yeah. I think if you knew more about Oppenheimer, you'd like it more because you get to see it like a film way. But then also if you never knew the man and like yeah. didn't pay attention to history or something. You know, you'd be like, oh, yeah, you get to learn yeah about it's it. also some of the stuff that they say. I'm but like, the politics stuff. There's some things I miss, and then I kind of lose track. So. Yeah. Oh. I mean, look, for me, at least, it was kind of hard to understand Einstein. Okay, let's bit. let's try and close off the review. Yeah. Um, the film. Yeah. And right. go with the IMAX experience. Yeah. Because right. there are some good. We are and there now are some, approaching. Yeah, there's a. Uh, <laughs> I have something to say about IMAX. I don't. I yeah. do. So I'll let you go first. the good. So, as you've seen by early in the video, we were very shocked oh, at yeah, the size but... because we were like, oh, this is really great, but yeah. then we see pictures and they're quite small. Yeah, it, look, it, looks, uh, it looks big, but it's, it, yeah, you know, it person, doesn't look as... it's much more. Yeah. But then, as the trailers went on, this is more of a mixed for me. It's not really the IMAX's fault, really, per se, but it's just after watching the trailers and not having that IMAX format, it's oh, like yeah. even covering the whole script, that's one of the things I'll get to in my... Yeah, I know it's yeah, I know it's something so, about that. Yeah, you'll get to that, yeah. hopefully you remember. But I just thought I'd finish off saying um Is that you're good? I know I'll be fine. Yeah, the the screen was great. We're a bit when the trailers and the ads went on. <laughs> there was one ad that repeated over and over and Oh over yeah that, again. but I mean the quality you're on about and oh, yeah. out. Yeah, the visual quality of the um, But then again obviously that wasn't the film, that's yeah, just that, their adverts. Yeah, which that, probably that would was, be on the regular yeah. things. So yeah. Well, but yeah, it was the great. Film, the, yeah. the film's quality was great. Uh, the film was good, yeah. Um, what else is good? So the seats were good as well. Oh, they the actually went nice. back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we they're... didn't know they went back. Yeah, they were comfy. Um, what else? The main things I've missed, and when I stop, I'll be like, oh no, <laughs> I forgot to mention that. It was but just to keep this going, um, I think we can both agree saying that the bad stuff were the lights. Top. No, more bad for you, of course, because you have a thing. Uh, stigmatism. Stigmatism. Lovely. Yeah. So the lights, they're very dim lights on the sides. Yeah, very dim. Very dim. But then there's top lights. Yeah. Which, top lights. They're very small. Stayed on. Because that's that's what happened when we went to what? experience two two four DX films. Yeah. And we think maybe it was a fault or maybe uh, it was just four DX, but no, it's just it's, it's it's in a world. I don't know why they did that. I don't like it. It yeah. should be completely dark. Yeah. Only the film. Yeah. I think I would have been immersed even more if And that then was. the other one was it didn't even cover the whole screen. The screen didn't there were parts that weren't There were parts when it was filmed in like widescreen. Yeah, but it. I mean the bottom and top it wasn't full. What's the point of having the whole screen? Yeah, the, um, covering the whole wall. If, if it's I not try and explain it, the uh, like there are some scenes where the top half was all full, but then yeah. there was just a big chunk of the bottom that was just dead. There was nothing there. Yeah. But then later parts in the film, all of it was used. You know, yeah. every screen part was. Oh, look, hey, yeah. Look, every yeah. part of the film was on screen. Yeah. And then some days, obviously, it would cut to another act, aspect ratio. Yeah. And then it'd go back to the. Big yeah, I one. get that. It's just that it, I, I know films do do that, especially yeah. like on Disney Plus with Marvel films. They do yeah. change back there. Yeah. Um, but it's just weird that they didn't cover the whole screen. I mean, that might not be. It's just a bit weird that they made that, but make it size that the screen has it. You know what I mean? It's just weird to make make an IMAX screen and the whole screen doesn't cover the whole screen. If that makes sense. Yeah, the, the whole, whole screen was used. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Which I thought. That, talk about the bad stuff as well. Um. I was immersed in it as much as I thought I was going to be. Yeah. Because, yeah, it was good. And the quality, I didn't think it was any better than what I'd watch at home. Or yeah. I, I honestly thought IMAX was just big screen. And when I was watching it, I was just like, this doesn't look any better than if I was watching bloody Jurassic World on my TV, on my standard TV. Yeah. Maybe a little bit clearing, you know, like on like the focus shots and stuff. But the actual thing, I just thought, it looks normal. The only big, you know, difference I thought was the big screen which yeah. even then that was it used all the time so. I, I I agree um, saying that um, 4DX is a much better experience yeah. even though IMAX was good it's cool to have that big screen but would I go again Pro only if the film like if you know yeah. if the audio system oh yeah it was 
insane. Oh, the audio system was probably the, the best part the, of the film. Again, not really sport, but when the bomb, when the explosions went off. Yeah, it's just not saying the explosion, but any explosion was. Yeah. Just like, it was yeah. just like impactful. Like, yeah. And the chairs were. You could like, feel it as in well. The chairs. It was just like an actual like. It felt if really anything was, just, if if anything was, um, you know, spatial, very similar to forty eight. It would be the seats vibrating. I yeah. mean, I know that's probably the speakers being yeah. really loud now, but it's still yeah. something. It still, still like made it better somehow because like you could yeah. kind of feel the explosion yeah. with the. Um, with the sound effect, yeah, yeah, which went really well. So, in a nutshell, um, the good and the bad. The good, great screen. Um, on the bad side of the screen, um, on the bad side or the downside is that they didn't cover the the, the, the film didn't cover the whole screen, which is a bit strange. Yeah, I think it's just the aspect ratio, but it's a bit strange. But that's not a that's not really a biggie. Um, but the bad bad would be the lights. Oh, I hate those. The, the lights that were on top. Um, for me, the the point where the uh, shut up, man. Uh, <laughs> the point where um, I kind of got like out of the immersion and the lights started affecting me again. Because like sometimes when I'm watching a film, everything like phases out and it's just the film, me and the film. Yeah. But the issue with that is that whenever suddenly it like cut and it got boring. <laughs> Well, not just boring, but like maybe like it was a bit. It was a bit. It kind of went down. Yeah, it was all exciting, the pace was good, and again. then it went down. And when that he happened, had, he had a weird flow, didn't it? And when that happened, that's when I came back. Like, oh yeah, I'm in the cinema well, with bloody lights. Out. So that's yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. So our opinions as a whole. For me, again, if I watch it, rewatch it, I'll probably buy it on Blu-ray. I won't watch it again yeah, in the cinema. I'm, yeah. Um, if I bought it on Blu-ray. You might get it on 4K, maybe, I don't know. I, I'd if get you're watching on streaming, maybe, I don't know. Oh, hell no. 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't oh, yeah, of course. Like, that was like the thing, said, yeah. 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 Get it on 4K, is... yeah. So 4K if, you, if you guys don't want to watch in the cinema, for whatever reason, not I mean, I don't blame you per se, but if you want to get it on, if you want to buy it anywhere, get it physically, because Nolan says in an interview saying that it's best to get it That's physically because of the, it's a definitive way of getting it. Yeah. But obviously, if, to you collectors, you don't need to listen to this. But um, anyway, our reviews, or our review, our opinions on this review, well, this film, um, mine, Again, I need to rewatch it. I feel like it's another what film that I need to rewatch. Right now, your initial like, reaction. Well, out of five or a ten? Out of ten. Six. Six out of ten, and out of five. Three, maybe. Yeah. It seems about right. Yeah. I'll be yeah. Just like it, it is what it is. It average. Is yeah. You know, it's a history film. Yeah. You know, it's film. not my typical film. Yeah. No. But I want to give it another chance. I don't want to. I want to give it a second chance and to make because I know it's coming through. Maybe I'll warm up to it. Maybe, but you know, again, it's just. You know, you're not gonna come out of watching Oppenheimer's like, oh, yeah, this was epic. I can't wait for the sequel. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's one thing. There are like, some oh. aficionados out there that love it and oh, love yeah. it for what it is, which I respect. Cinematography, yeah. Cinematography-wise, yes, it was. Thing is, we watch. But so, so me and Rusty um, are used to watching like action, action, comedy, yeah. especially sure. historical stuff isn't so the, really the, when we review films we usually go for, in my case, horror and then both of us would maybe go like action. action, comedy, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, um, historical stuff, so we thought we'd give this a chance because um, Nolan directed and wrote it. And it was our chance to watch it in IMAX because it was made for IMAX. Yes, so exactly. That's what, that's what draw us in. If we didn't, if it wasn't if the IMAX thing wasn't drawing us in, we probably wouldn't have watched, obviously we wouldn't have probably. watched it there. We would have either watched it at our local cinema or we wouldn't we would wait just for watch it on. And if, I, if I'm honest, I, I feel like it'll still look this exact same kind, like very similar to to the one in our local cinema. Because yeah. like I said, I feel like other than the big screen, it was just you know, Yeah, I feel fine. like the quality of the film just looked like a normal film. Like I didn't yeah. I kinda didn't understand the hype for IMAX. Again, we're not aficionados, oh, yeah, so we right don't now. Like, oh, look at these pixels. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. there's like more definition in like, the face so you can see more yeah, detail. Yeah, but for us, for where we all sat and, you know... Oh, uh, just... the seats were good, though. Like, yeah. I, the seats were good, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they were actually nice, yeah. But, you know, like you said, it, well, like I said as well, you know, it's not exactly worth it. I mean, if you want to go watch it, go absolutely watch it, especially if in history. Like, I am history, but I prefer 
I, I'd rather watch Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think Barbie would have been more funny. More cool thing, yeah. I, I definitely yeah, see that. Yeah, it's more funny thing. But again, that's just, this is more of like a documentary of the man. Yeah. Of the it's, it's, a bibli- bi- uh, it's a bibliography of him. It's basically, yeah. it's yeah, it's but, literally. Yeah, which is not a bad thing. A biography, uh, and that's it, a biography film. Yeah. About Robert J. Oppenheimer. Exactly. So, yeah. So, if you're into that, definitely go watch it. You can't exactly call it bad then, can you? Because no. it's about the man himself. Yeah. yeah. So. And yeah. opinions matter. Not uh, for this film, really. <laughs> no, yeah. It's, but, it's, um. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, so go watch it. it if you're interested. Yeah, but I'd say. Would we recommend it in IMAX? If you have the money, yeah. maybe. And but if you're local, if you have a local IMAX, yeah. don't go out of the way. I wouldn't go out of your way. Yeah. I wouldn't go out of your Personally, way. Personally. In, in our opinions, don't go out of your way on a long journey to just go watch an IMAX. If you have a local IMAX theatre, then definitely go watch it. Um, but um, if you don't watch it in the cinema, if you're interested in regular 2D, uh, I know a lot of people, including Nolan himself, is saying watch in IMAX. If you can, I'd say locally again. But if you can't, no biggie at yeah. all. Just watch, just, <laughs> yeah, just watch it in regular 2D. Yeah, this is obviously for people that haven't watched in, yeah. watched IMAX before, yeah. um, and are wondering if if I should or not. Yeah. But like I said, I'd wait for more so <laughs> again, if you if you have a local cinema that has a, a IMAX an, uh, an IMAX screen, go watch it. If you don't, and you're thinking about maybe taking a long journey, we recommend you don't. But again, it's your money. Um, we're just recommending you this. Yeah. But um. Oh, and there's a. If you want to watch it, watch it on DVD or Blu-ray, we understand. Yeah, it's not one sense. for us. It's just you know Better that kind of film. Yeah. Also, anyway. one more thing before we okay. say goodbye. Okay. There was no CGI. Which was a good thing, I think. Yeah, no yeah. CGI, which is a great thing. Yeah. But I think that's what IMAX is kind of more for, mm. for like the CGI, because you get more detail in yeah. that. But. I'm sure Marvel films are brilliant. Oh, Marvel films would probably look fantastic. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of that's the thing as well. We need to talk about dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue. Scenes. Yeah, it's more. Of I a was told that. Story. I was. I, I did research into yeah, that. Yeah, more. Of, the, you know, it's more of a story. Anyway, yeah. you've already heard everything that was yeah. said. So, so I'm probably there. Maybe a few things. Maybe we've forgotten to say. But we uh, you know we're tired, and we want to yeah. you know head home now. But um, we've kind of basically told you guys in a nutshell what we think of the film. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, if uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Yeah. Comment your thoughts on the film if you've watched it, or you know. Yeah. Yeah. Next one might be Barbie. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. for you maybe. Uh, yeah. Like, depending yeah, I'm, depending I'm on what, see what I'm doing, maybe yeah. we'll see. My rating was a six out of ten. Yeah, six and a three star. That may, <coughs> yeah, six out of ten uh, basically equals a three star. Um, but yeah, so Rusty's. Out of ten, seven. I uh, thought, yeah. I've already, I'm, I can't say any more than what I've already said. Mm-hmm. And for five out of, uh, you know, out of five, four. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.